Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming out here uh, to Brockton. I had ordered some sunshine, but uh, I think it's going to be a little late, or we spent our budget on Sunday, uh, which was an absolutely gorgeous day. Uh, but I'd like to welcome you all out here to the redevelopment of 47 Pleasant Street by South Shore Properties Management and uh, Joffrey Anatoly, who is the uh, CEO. Oh, I'm sorry, you're over on this side. Um, and uh, I would like to also uh, welcome, um, uh, where did he go? Oh, there you are, uh, Mayor Carpenter and uh, fire trucks and um, Marty Jones with the uh, Mass uh, Development Corporation. And uh, we also are joined by uh, uh, Robert uh, Jenkins from the Brockton Redevelopment Authority and Mike Gallerani with the uh, Brockton 21st Century Corporation. So we've been working with Joffrey on this project for uh, several months now uh, as he's moved his way through uh, the planning and development stage and, and zoning and everything. But uh, we're really happy to see him here making an investment, uh, approximately uh, 2.6 or $1.6 million, if I am remembering that correctly. Double that. Double that. Excuse me. Oh, yes. Three. 3.2. I'm sorry. I was thinking. I was looking at the tax credits. Um, but uh, it's an important project for Brockton because it's using um, several of the layers that we've created uh, in our downtown district to help uh, further development here. Uh, we came into um, the community. We we're working with the 40R um, Smart Growth District. We've, on top of that, put uh, the housing development uh, initiative on top of that and uh, historic preservation. So we have multiple layers in this project to help projects uh, finance themselves. So with that, uh, if I could uh, introduce um, Mayor Carpenter and then uh, he'll introduce um, uh, Marty and then Jeffrey. Joffrey, excuse me. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Council Barnes? Yeah, okay. Um, it's, it's exciting, uh, despite the chilly weather, uh, to be out here today to see this project uh, underway uh, that Joffrey is developing here. Um, uh, Marty, I want to welcome you. Anytime we have mass development and, and Marty's team here in the city, that's usually good news. It means they're investing in something, and we're excited to have them investing in this project. Um, this project really represents... Uh, what the redevelopment vision for downtown Brockton is all about, market rate housing. And this project is utilizing the HDIP tax credits. And in the uh, economic development uh, bill last year that was enacted, one of the many incentives that was changed is this uh, tax credit that used to be 10% was increased to 25%. And what's really unique about HDIP is it's for only for market rate housing in gateway cities. So it's really targeted at the cities that need the extra financial supports to make these kinds of projects viable for private developers. But it's that the investment uh, of the tax credits, the availability of the financing from the state, those public supports that allow this private investment in this project to go. So 24 market rate units right here in the heart of downtown Brockton. As we're standing here, without even moving, we can see several other current and proposed projects uh, that we'll be talking about later this afternoon. So, uh, Joffrey, thank you for the work that you've done to get this far. The city is supporting the project with the tax increment financing plan, uh, but that's certainly only one small piece of the overall puzzle that Joffrey's had to put together to get this project off the ground. Uh, so we're looking forward to... Uh, to coming back for the opening and uh, seeing 24 market rate units here. So it's exciting for the city. It's exciting for our plans for downtown Brockton. Uh, I want to uh, give everyone a chance to hear uh, from the CEO of Mass Development, Marty Jones. Marty, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much, Mayor, and it is wonderful uh, to be here in Brockton. 
Um, I think all of you have probably heard my speech before about mass development, but I do need to remind everybody we're the state's economic development quasi-public authority with lots of tools to help developers, nonprofits, and communities uh, thrive and grow. And it's thrilling to be here in Brockton for this uh, groundbreaking today. Uh, since I've been at Mass Development, we've actually had three of these events right here in downtown Brockton. Uh, we first started over at uh, Station Landing uh, with Jason Korb and getting that mixed income uh, development off the ground and then moved along to the Enterprise Block, which uh, was a mixed use development, bringing both housing and commercial activity to downtown. Uh, and now here we are with additional units um, of housing right here at 47 Pleasant. I do want to welcome uh, Jeffrey to the Brockton and Mass Development family. Uh, I think he probably didn't know how complicated these deals uh, might be, and uh, he brought his private sector expertise in owning and redeveloping multifamily housing, but he also, along the way, I think learned a lot about the alphabet soup of uh, state government and incentives that can help these deals uh, come into play. Mass Development is thrilled to be able to put a $3.2 million loan uh, into the project. As the mayor mentioned, uh, this has HDIP uh, credits in it. Uh, this is a great program uh, which was recently changed uh, to allow a 25% credit and this is the first deal in the Commonwealth to start under that new program. Um, I do want to specifically make sure everybody understands the great support the Baker Polito administration has for programs like this. Uh, without their support, uh, this legislation wouldn't have passed. Secretary Ash and Under Secretary Carnegie are really committed to using these tools to help uh, developments uh, get done in gateway cities and bring additional people and foot traffic to downtown. Um, I do want to mention while I'm talking about the family, uh, Mass Development lost um, a great member of our family uh, two weeks ago, uh, Larry Cameron, our business development director in the southeast uh, passed away and uh, we will really miss him. Uh, Larry loved deals. Uh, he would be smiling and I'm sure he is today seeing, that, seeing this deal closed uh, and being a part of it. And. Um, Paul Moran and Jim Walsh and Joe Grivers are here from our uh, Fall River team, um, and uh, they will continue to carry on the torch, and uh, Larry will be with all of us as we continue to uh, do work like this uh, around the Commonwealth. Um, I do want to mention the Transformative Development Initiative. Uh, we've got a double header here today in Brockton, and we're moving on to another event. Um, the, the Transformative Development Initiative is really designed to uh, bring focus to downtowns like this and bring a wide range of tools uh, to help cities uh, follow a path and develop a plan to create economic redevelopment. Uh, George Durante is our TDI fellow here on the ground in Brockton. Uh, he's a mass development staffer who's here uh, dedicated to this city and this district and we know we will continue to see great things over the next couple of years as we work to get more buildings uh, developed and uh, put back on the tax rolls and an economic benefit uh, for the city. So thanks for having me here today. Congratulations again, Jeffrey. I do want to take a tour before we, uh, before we leave, and uh, I hope I'm back soon for more of these. Thank you. I'll keep this short and sweet, but um, projects like this are simply not financially feasible uh, without tax credits and other programs and corporations such as Mass Development. Uh, the numbers simply don't work. Uh, so you're right. It was a complicated road to get here but absolutely worth it. I really do need to thank Mass Development. They met with me and worked, they've been working on this project with me since last March before there was even a project. So without you guys, where's Paul? I've driven him crazy. Without, you know, without them, it really wouldn't be possible, even from the preliminary stages before you had approval, because you need to have the financing in place. So uh, thank you guys, Mass Development. I need to thank everyone in the city, uh, Mayor, Pam, Planning. I mean, everybody, I don't, I've already started naming names, but uh, I've driven everyone crazy. Uh, and uh, again, uh, Everyone's been extremely helpful. It just wouldn't be possible to get this done without support from everyone. Rob, Pam, Mayor, um, thank you guys very much. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to finishing it. So this will be, I think, an asset to downtown. And, you know, uh, appreciate everyone's support.